Well, hello and happy holidays. I'm so glad that you're joining me tonight. Um, as you saw, this is the Christmas Spirit webinar, and I'm going to be talking about some great gift ideas and also about the Young Living Foundation. I think that you'll be really interested to hear about that if you haven't already. It's a pretty awesome program. So anyway, hello. It's so good to see you all. Um, I was going to start off with talking a little bit about some of the awesome gift ideas that or gift options that Young Living has. Um, you, if you have ordered recently, you've seen the holiday catalog. I believe they sent it with last month's orders. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, let me kind of walk you through a few of the options because they're pretty awesome, uh, pretty neat. I'm going to share my screen with you and. Um, We'll take a look. All right. So I'm on the main youngliving.com website, just www.youngliving.com, and then you have to specify that you want it the United States. Um, okay, so on this main page, even without being logged in, I can take a look at the products that they have, but in order to actually order them, I would sign in and go through the normal product um, pro uh, purchasing process. Um, if you have trouble knowing how to do that, let me know, and I will send you a copy uh, or send you a link to the webinar I did two months ago. Um, that'll walk you through the whole process of putting it, placing an order. So if you on this main site, if you go to where it says products, you'll see it says new seasonal and essential specials. This is the awesome area to check out. So you have a listing here, um, and it'll show you what's new, essential specials, holiday and seasonal collection. So the holiday and seasonal collection is what you find in the in the holiday catalog. There are some really, really awesome ideas here. So for people that you're not quite sure what to do with it for, um, maybe you'd like to kind of introduce them to the idea of the oils a little bit, but you don't want to overwhelm them with something bizarre um, or really different. There are some pretty neat idea, uh, things in here. So like this here, the ceramic diffuser, I'm pretty excited about this. This is a diffuser that you wear around your neck so you can smell the oil all day long. It comes with Christmas spirit. If you haven't smelled Christmas spirit, it really does smell like what you would think of as Christmas. It's cinnamony with an orange and also the um, Christmas tree smell to it. So it's a pretty neat combination. If you don't have it, I highly recommend it. It's awesome in the diffuser this time of year. People think you're baking it or doing something special in your house even when all you're doing is diffusing it. So that's really fun. So as you can see down here, the retail value $35.86. You don't worry about that. Wholesale $27.25 for the necklace and the five milliliter bottle of Christmas spirit. So that can be a fun little thing if they kind of are, in, they enjoy jewelry and um, might like to wear, uh, to wear a scent. Um, there's also things like if you have somebody who's really big on working out, you have the gym bag, which is pretty, I did not know that they had this actually until I was looking through here. So they have in this, they have the, the actual gym bag that has the Young Living logo on it. It has the brand new Cool Azul Sports Gel, which is like a muscle rub for after working out to help your muscles recover more quickly and to um, just to soothe the, uh, the muscles after their hard work. And then the Breathe Again Roll On is just opens up your your breathing and um, can just help you breathe easy. Um, so those all come together. That is $100 for the kit. Um, I really thought that I had seen, let's see, somewhere I was looking in here, and I'll have to search around a little bit. So give me just a minute here. Okay, okay, the power pack was what I, what I had seen. Um, it's also $100. And this has the, the BLM capsules. It has the resistance bands, which have uh, um, a Young Living carry case, and 
Um, and then it also has the gym bag, which as you can see, kind of in the background, it says Young Living right here in purple. So that, those are some ideas. There's even one for golf that has Young Living branded golf balls. Um, just something fun, unusual for that person that you're like, I have no idea what to get them or I've gotten them everything and they don't seem like they would ever need anything. If they're, they like to work out, there you go. Um, as you can see, there's a glass water bottle. This little thing right here, the lip balm gift set is a pretty neat idea. Um, it's $16 and you get a cinnamon, a grapefruit, a lavender and a vanilla mint lip balm in a pretty little case that you can just give all together. Also, if you're wanting to buy them individually and just give like teachers at school or just anybody that you want to get or coworkers or anything like that, something you want to give just a real small gift, you can buy those in your virtual office. Um, if you if you do quick orders, you can buy each of these individually for either four dollars or four dollars and twenty five cents, depending on which one you pick. Um, so it makes a real quick, easy, cheap gift option for, like I said, the you know the s smaller needs. Um, also, if you are on Essential Rewards, kind of a cool side thing is that they have a Young Living Trio lip balm, so you can get three of these for um, eleven dollars and fifty cents. So it saves you a little bit, and you get more of them at once instead of having to buy them all individually. Um, so that's just a few neat things. If you uh, would like to ha give them a toast to their health, um, or even yourself a toast to your health, this is kind of a fun one. Um, the Ningxia Red gift set. It comes with Ningxia Red branded champagne flutes. It has the Ningxia Red bottle, and it also has a special blend called Red Shot that's specifically for the Ningxia Red and only comes in this type of package deal and that's $65.50 wholesale. So as you see there's a lot of just really unique and fun gift ideas, massage gift sets, um, there's all kinds of fun things. Another really neat thing to check out is the new section. Um, never know what you're going to find in here, but this was all rolled out at the last convention. So here's the cool Azul I was telling you about, brand new. This would be, I would think, would be a really, really nice, um, unusual gift idea for somebody who, just, who likes to relax, likes just really nice things. These are the Dead Sea bath salts. They're, they have lavender in them, and they're known for the Dead Sea is known for very being very mineral rich. I'm sure everybody knows that. And so this can be a very soothing and um, comforting um, bath salt option. That, that you see is $12 for the package. They also have, which I have to admit, I've never tried this. I have no idea what it's like, but they have Dead Sea Mud Soap. And um, that is also $12. So check that out. That's, that's kind of... That's kind of a fun thing. Um, and you can just, you know, kind of look through and see what types of things they have in here. Here's a really fun new thing. Unfortunately, the Chutron shave cream is out of stock at the moment. Um, but I'm sure they'll be getting that back up soon. At least I hope they will. And But the, I'm not sure how you say this, Mira, Myra shave oil. This is, I, I think it's more designed for the, girls in your life and the Chutron is definitely more for the guys in your life um, and this is actually a brand new shaving oil that they have uh, they have um, so that would be that might be a really fun option as well okay so oh, one other thing I wanted to mention to you in this essential specials I saw something that um, would be a really fun small gift idea. They have a soap pack that you could get just for the festivity of having special soap out while you have company. My grandparents did that all the time. Or you could even give it as a gift. So it's a, a three soap pack and it's $9.95. So that's a really nice budget friendly kind of idea. Um, some other budget friendly ideas, there are bar soaps um, that are $10. You could, and um, 
course, like I said, the Dead Sea bath salts are a good idea, and then you also have the lip balms. But another thing that's really fun, if you just wanted to actually get essential, the actual oils, check this graphic out. Um, if you would like a copy of this, I can um, send you the link for it. Just send me an email, and I'll get the link to you. But these are 35 different oils that are under $20. So if you're wanting something that's um, budget-friendly that you could try in your diffuser, that you could give away easily, that you could use in like a personal um, necklace-type diffuser, these are some really really awesome things to be aware of. Christmas spirit, like I said, um, that one makes the house just smell like Christmas. If you like a little bit more of a uh, exotic lemon, the jade lemon is, is amazing. So there's just, there's so many different things on here. I'd love to tell you more about any of them that strike your interest. So let me know if you want to know more about that. Um, Okay, so that kind of ties up what I wanted to share in relation to the gifts. Um, I don't, I'm sure everybody has seen it by now, but the promotions this month are pretty incredible. And if you wanted to give oils to somebody, I mean, this is the month for it for sure. Because if you spend 300, uh, if you have 300 PV for your order, you get the entire, um, essential oil collection just just like when you first signed well it's actually a little different than when you first signed up um but it's the everyday oils kit so let's take a look at that real quick right here everyday oils essential collection as you can see it has a few different oils than what you actually got in your starter kit but it is 10 different oils Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it has joy in it, which I personally, I use joy every day. It's great. So it has the joy in it, the stress away, purification, pan away. You get the melaleuca, alternifolia in it. Um, so this is just a really great combination. It's called the everyday oils because it really literally is like an everyday usage thing. You could find a way to use all of these throughout your daily nor uh, just day-to-day -day life um, so this is free with your 300 PV order along with um, uh, 30 points towards your essential rewards um, and then that, that is if you're on essential rewards I should clarify this if you do a 300 PV order it has to be on essential rewards in order to get the whole thing um, but you've seen the promos that have been sent out on this and if you have any questions about it please feel free to to ask me but that could be a really good idea because you could break this up into parts and s uh, give different people the oils or however you thought you wanted to do it but that's a that's an uh, another option as well so this time of year not only do we think of giving gifts and the fun time of getting together as a family and all that and i will tell you to keep your eyes open on the team natural sites because this time of year there's a lot of recipes that go up um, over thanksgiving you may have noticed them and you'll probably if you didn't see them then you'll probably be seeing even more of them here coming soon um, everybody uh, people just like to experiment with the oils in their cooking for the big Christmas dinner. So keep an eye out for that or search it in the Team Natural site for all the Thanksgiving things that were put out. Um, there's a whole bunch of really fun things that way as well. But another thing we think about this time of year, at least I know I do, is giving to people in need. And that's something that Young Living takes very seriously. When they say that their mission statement is to put oils in every home in the world, they're not just talking about the wealthy people they're talking about everybody so people that are in need they go they find ways to reach out to them as well they actually have a really neat um, video about taking gifts to the homeless they did that last year um, during the Christmas season and so that they do a, a lot of little fun things like that just to try and outreach they have meals that, that they do and that but the big thing that they like that they do is the Young Living Foundation and I have a little video here that kind of gives you a little introduction to what that's all about
All right, so let's talk a little bit about um, how young the Young Living Foundation started. And I'm going to go back to unsharing my screen because I kind of like to see everybody. Um, hi. So let's talk a little bit about the Young Living Foundation and where it started. Um, we have farms all over the world. And during the time when Gary was working on our farm in Guayaquil, Ecuador, he started noticing the level of poverty in that area and how everybody was struggling so much just to feed themselves. And the children were not getting any opportunity to make a difference um, above and beyond what they, uh, the parents were already in because the parents had nothing more to offer. And so he, he looked around at that and said, we are not having a farm in an area where there's this kind of poverty and not doing something about it. So he started a school in the in Guayaquil um, for these children so that they could come, they could get a warm meal every day, they would learn the things that they needed to actually feed themselves and come up with new ways to help in their communities and more opportunities to be able to progress and further themselves. And then he started the parents of the children that started coming to that school. He actually had brought a lot of them onto the farm, into the farm, so that they had jobs where they could they could be able to take care of their families better. Um, and he actually found out when he had brought the parents, and I thought this was really cool. He found out that they couldn't read, and so he started having nightly adult reading classes so that they could learn to read and then help their children and also help themselves. So that started this whole idea of how is Young Living give, giving back to the people in need. And Gary started it with that, but then it quickly became a thing that needed more help and became a bigger deal than what he could do by himself and he wanted the entire Young Living family to be able to be part of it. So we started the Young Living Foundation, and it now is the the platinum members when they go on their retreat, they actually go to Guayaquil, Ecuador, and among many other things, they get to see the school and the kids down there. And you can sponsor a child to help them through their their schooling. Each child, it's like seventy five dollars a month to um, get get them through school, and you can actually sponsor a child through school uh, through the, so that they can go through school. So that's a that's an awesome thing. That's something they have set up for that, and they've raised lots and lots of money over um, conventions and just from the different members and um, fundraising and that kind of thing. They've raised money to um, build the school down there, and it now how it can it now goes clear from kindergarten through twelfth grade. They're going to have their first graduating class this year. Um, so that has been a phenomenal thing in that area. They've been able to do a lot to really outreach and help the, the families. And they started looking at how can we, where can we go from here? What do we do from here? So um, they, they started looking for more options and opportunities. And they, they've been doing a lot of work with, um, I think they have like over about 40 different groups that they work with here in the United States. And they also work overseas with different groups that they they talk to and they work with and they find out exactly what they're looking for and they see if what we have to offer is in line with where they're wanting to head and if it meets up to our moral code. And um, then they'll partner with them and help them to get the things that they need. And in this area, in the United States, a lot of the work that they do is getting them oils um, in like clinics to for the under, underserved and just a, education on how to use them that whole thing they do a lot of that as well as many other other helpful th other things in that area um and one really really neat thing about young living foundation is that 100 percent of anything you donate to the the foundation goes towards helping the people in need. It is not used for overhead, it's not used for paying the people. Young Living covers those costs and your donations 
specifically go to help people. And so like $5 is enough to buy a mosquito net to protect up to three children from malaria. It's not a big chunk of money that's necessarily needed. Obviously, the bigger chunk of money, the more they can do with it. But if all of us give just $5 a month, that they could take that so far. It's unbelievable. In fact, case in point, when we were at convention, they asked that we raise some money for two new um, programs that they had started, uh, they had become part of in Uganda, as well as a few um, smaller projects that they were doing. And they were looking to raise um, $250,000 each session of convention because there was two separate sessions this last year. They raised over a million dollars during that time period because everybody just chunked in what they could. And it has gone leaps and bounds in helping these children to get the help and um, the care that they really need. And there's also adults that are being helped by the Soul Hope program with getting shoes so that they're, they're not being attacked by um, parasites. So I'd like to show you a little video of one of the groups that we're now working with in Uganda. This is one of the ones that we raised money at convention to help. So that just gives you a little idea of what they're doing. Um, they showed a little bit of information at um, the convention in relation to this particular um, organization, and it was it's not it's not just a school. These children are living in a in a situation where they have no food. They have no very little clothing. They're sleeping on plastic bags in the middle of the street. They, they are completely without, they have no parents, and it's, it's a, I mean, they, they have open wounds and they're living on trash, and the, they're dying by the hundreds, and they have this special glue that they smell that helps them not feel so hungry when they haven't had food in days. And so what this, this 
organization does, not only is it a school, but they actually go into the slums three times. It's now, it was one time a week. And we, with our donations, have now brought it up to three times a week. And we are putting it into, they're putting things into place to be able to do it daily. Um, but they actually go in there with warm meals and medical care and actually help help these children to have the things that they need in order to survive. But even more than that, they have a program that they put the children through to see if they are, are in a place where they're able and willing to make the changes to get off the addiction to that glue stuff that they, they sniff and change their lives for the better. Those children that they're able to identify as being able to do that, and the especially young ones that haven't been involved in it as much, and can they can bring them out of that it's quicker and faster and easier. They take them to the school, and it's a boarding school. They live there. They get three meals, a, warm meals a day. They're taught. They have a, a sponsor that um, a social worker that actually works directly with them to help them work through the issues of the things that they've been dealing with. And it actually puts them in a place where they can succeed and they can get out of the slums and live their lives. And then they're able to actually live with a family after that to, um, to start finding a way to, to get out into the world and live in a way that's going to give them a hand up. Um, so that's the, that's a little bit about this program. It's absolutely incredible the, the work that they do and the pictures that they show. Just, I mean, everybody in convention, I think, was crying that particular day. It was it was absolutely incredible, and um, we spawned, we we partnered with this group so that we could help those children in need and um, build a better school that could actually take. And we're building a nursery schooled with it as part of it so now they can take in the really young ones and be able to care for them before they get into those situations um, and there's just a lot of work that's going into this so if you're interested in helping with the Young Living Foundation and you're wanting to be part of it what can you do well there are a lot of options number one like I said you can sponsor a child as you heard um, the man in the video talking about you can sponsor a child through school in Uganda. Um, you can also they have a philanthropic philanthropic I think that's how you say it <laughs> trip coming up in the spring I think it is. And if you're interested in um, going on something like that and seeing the groups that they work with and what exactly they're doing. Um, they have information about it on their website, so I'll go back to the main website, and um, it should be right here on the front page if you click through. Nope, it's not. Okay, then I'm going to sign in, and I'll show you that way. <laughs> That's the easiest way to find it. So if, when you sign into your um, your virtual office. You will see right here, join the Young Living Foundation on a philanthropic service trip. If you have trouble finding this, just let me know. I can send you a link to it. It's not a problem at all. You can also go to the media centers and um, find out more about it that way. Um, but this gives you in-depth information as to, oh, really, okay, the applications are closed for all of this, looks like. Okay, well maybe they're not accepting anybody now, but that's something that from now here on, we're going to be having a lot more opportunities like that to go out and actually serve and help in those ways. So that's something that you can be aware of, keep in mind, and be part of in the future. Um, but if you're wanting to do something that's a little bit more on a day-to-day -day scale that you can really be part of regularly, one of the biggest things you can do is when you put in your order for the month, like I do essential rewards, and so um, when you put in your order for the month, I'll just walk you through this, you go into your essential rewards, you set up for exactly what you want for that month. Right here it says donate to the Young Living Foundation. And if you check this, check here to round up to the nearest dollar, it will always take whatever you, uh, however below you are and change, and it will round that up so that your your 
giving 25 cents or whatever to the foundation. You can also just type in here what you uh, what you want to add over and above that. So in this situation, I'm I'm giving fifteen dollars, and then I am um, also rounding up to the nearest dollar. So when you click next step, it'll give you the breakdown of exactly how much you are um, spending, and it will show you. I was supposed to show you anyway. <laughs> now here. Um, It'll show you the breakdown, and right here, total donations, $15.36. So that is a really easy monthly way to um, get involved. You can also do this with a quick order. So if you're wanting to um, just put in a, an, you're not on essential rewards and you want to just make a quick order, you can do the same thing with, with that. The only time that you can't do it is when you're redeeming your essential rewards points. They don't have it. To my knowledge, they have not yet gotten it set up to do that. They're working on it, but it, it, the system's having a little bit of trouble figuring out how to do it. So that's not something that they've gotten set up. The other thing you can do is go to smile.amazon.com. For those of you who like to shop on Amazon, this is a really awesome option. Now you'll see that I personally support the Wounded Warrior Project. This is because I like to support quite a few different um groups and so I give my money I, I give money to the Young Living Foundation with my order and then I support the Wounded Warrior Project here on Amazon um, so that it kind of spreads it out a little bit like that but if you have not um, gotten on to smile Amazon and you like to shop on Amazon I strongly recommend that you you pick a charity Whatever charity you feel something with, um, pick, if, if, pick one that you feel something with and go with. But the thing that is neat about this is you can type in the D. Gary Young Foundation. And the reason, and I don't believe that they've updated it yet. Let's check this and see. Maybe they did. They had it under the Gary Young Foundation for a while because originally that's what it was called and then they changed it to the Young Living Foundation. So here you have the Young Living Foundation. Um, now they have, they still have not, they have updated the Young Living Foundation. Um, they say that it's based in Waterloo, Illinois and I'm not exactly sure why it says that. Somehow it got kind of mixed up um, because they are based in Utah but this is the one that you would take and you would just click select and that will automatically make it so that anytime you make a purchase on smile.amazon.com your normal whatever you purchase off of Amazon it will automatically take um, pennies off of every dollar I'm not sure exactly how much Amazon offer uh, does with it but it doesn't cost you anything. Amazon just takes a percentage of what you spend and then uses it for the nonprofit of your choice. So if you haven't set that up, I would I would strongly recommend that that is a, a, a great thing to do, regardless of what pro, a nonprofit organization you decide to support. But this is also a, a way to support the Young Living Foundation. So um, I'm going to. Stop screen sharing and wrap it up from there. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed tonight's presentation. I hope that you've learned a lot from it. If you have any questions, if you want some of the links that I use tonight, if you'd like me to send you um, send that to you so you know where I got it from, I'm more than happy to do that. Email me, call me, um, text me, whatever. Find me on Facebook. Um, and I will I'll help you out with that if you have any things that you specifically would like me to talk about or Bring up in future webinars Please also let me know that I am more than happy to Direct this in the in whatever is going to be most beneficial to you and what you're looking for so um, Merry Christmas if you celebrate if not happy holidays in whatever way you celebrate them I hope that they that you just have a wonderful time with your family and friends and I will see you again next month night